Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Eons of Battle, and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint some skeleton warriors using a high contrast paint scheme. Here are the paints I'll be using. I primed the model black. I used an airbrush, but you could also use a rattle can. Once that was dry, I then airbrushed a light gray from overhead to, to give the models a little bit of contrast. I'm doing this with an airbrush, but you could also do this with a rattle can as well. Then I applied a little bit of Vallejo Bone White, spraying very similarly to the gray that I sprayed before. And then on this last model, I'm going to be applying it with a dry brush, just to show that it'll give a very similar result. Then I gave all three models a, a watered down green wash. And then I gave a light dry brushing of bone white again to all three models to tone down the green. Once that was dry, I then gave them another wash of watered down brown. This is gonna make the green even more subtle, but the models will still have a green appearance. To make the weapon stand out against the green bodies of the skeletons, I'm gonna be painting them the opposite color, red. I'm gonna be doing a one-to-one -one mix of red and black, to, and then I'm gonna be base coating all of the weapons and armor. Once the red was dry, I then went in with a dry brushing of some hash hut copper to give all of the weapons a nice bronze appearance, making sure to go light enough to leave plenty of the red showing underneath. Once I finished with that copper dry brushing, I then went in with an even lighter dry brushing of some lead belcher. The lead belcher is gonna add a little bit more metallic sheen to all of the weapons and armor. Now the model is finished and I'm gonna move on to the base. I start out by base coating the bases with gray. Then I dry brush the bases with some Vallejo Stonewall Gray. This is gonna brighten them up a little bit, and then we'll tone them back down with a black wash. I applied a black shade to all three bases. This is a, wa a wash I made myself, but you could also use a pre-made wash like Null Noil. Then I painted the skirts of the bases black. And then I used a little bit of Elmer's glue and I applied it in small amounts onto the bases so that I can apply a little bit of yellow static grass. The yellow is going to stand out nicely because there's no yellow anywhere else on the models. And there is three finished skeleton warriors. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions on videos that you would like to see us do, please leave a comment below. If you are following along with this tutorial, please post your work to Instagram and tag Eons Battle so that we can share it. Thanks for watching.